everybody. Well, hello there. It's your friends from uh, Sacramento Popcorn Surprise. We got a popcorn surprise. We're going to go over another uh, movie trailer today. A Dog's Purpose, Craig. Oh, what a beautiful moving. Um, do you like animals, Craig? Are you a fan? I like the way they taste. Uh, <laughs> I see we got a meat eater in the audience here. Meat carnivore here. Uh, the dog's my steak. The dog's purpose just came out. Uh, we just looked over the trailer, which the, I think is belittling to dog kind that that is their purpose. Oh, to, who, who are to we serve to, say, to serve man to serve man and not even man and women man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the plot is as follows: a dog looks to discover his purpose in life. Over the course of several lifetimes, uh, Dennis Quaid's in the movie. He's pretty, I mean, he's, he's like he is American Dennis Quaid. Hero. There's a woman named Gabrielle Rose. She plays Grandma Fran. So, mm. it's pretty cool. That helps the movie, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, there's a big, big brouhaha about... A hullabaloo? A big old hullabaloo about a dog being mistreated during the filming. Yeah. That seems to be what everybody's kind of talking about. Yeah. Um, what was it like? They ordered Thai food. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Somebody didn't grill. Somebody didn't bring dog. the oven mitts. So uh, grilled grilled German Shepherd. <laughs> so one of the uh, the extras uh, had a bad day. Let's oh, just put wow. it that way. Um. Yeah, I don't like you know cruelty towards animals. Obviously, I think it's pretty. Uh, uh, it's gross. It's gross. You know, I don't. I don't understand why anybody would. I don't either. I mean, unless it's funny. Um, well, it is comedy, agree, but uh, you know, I saw <laughs> they were pushing a dog. They were trying to push a dog into the water. Yeah, like the at one point, water. and uh, the dog's head got under water. The dog could have drowned, Craig. Mm -hmm. Those two lifeguards in the pool. I mean, there was a chance that they couldn't have saved that dog. There's a great chance that they would have just um, gone underwater. Yeah, and also, oh god. Do we? Re what I mean, this? we're not gonna. I really don't want to talk. I don't want. I have it's a neighbor. Like Italian music. I have a neighbor, Craig. Uh, Does he bring like one of those uh, wire Bluetooth speakers and plays like Italian music? It's his theme song. Sounds like Dean Martin. Uh, Broadway Gino, everybody. <laughs> hey, Gabron, yeah. how you going, <laughs> man? Uh, uh, Gino, it's very nice to see you as always. Broadway Gino. <laughs> it, was, it was a, it was. I was just eating some pizza pie. I had a little, a little mozzarella on the <coughs> sauce. And a soft I saw, I saw a uh, little light on. I said, hey, why don't I come by, see these half of fags, see uh, what they're doing, you know? I said, hey, Gino. Uh, Gino, you. Uh, this would be perfect because you work in animal control. Uh, you're around animals all the time. Uh, a dog's purpose. Do you think you're interested in that sort of, sort yeah, of? It looks like you're kind of a movie. Yeah, you know, I uh, dog's purpose is you know to die, right? Yeah, uh, well, they just uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, you know, you drown them, you burn yeah. them, you cut them, you cut the tongues yeah. out. You could do that. Yeah, um, yeah, you make a nice uh, yeah spaghetti. Uh, yeah, Come on. I just had this veal. Hey, Ma, where the fuck is spaghetti? <laughs> I just had a veal color for the first time. Oh, veal parmesan. Uh, yeah. There's more a little. There's more personnel in that little veal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a whole fucking, a oh, whole steak, a whole pooch's life. I don't oh, give wow. a fuck. You act like a mama Luke, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get one right you're across get the whack lips. Like hey, a mama Luke. Uh, yeah. You want a knuckle sandwich? I like, hey, I like veal because. They talk, you know. They put the they put the cow in the in the cage. You know, they don't need to go he's anywhere. A, a stinky dog. Yeah. You know, he he's a, he, he's like the Jets defense. He stinks. Oh. Hey Jets, why don't you go draft the defense? Now Gino, uh, I I really love animals. Gino. I know you're uh, your dog catcher. Yeah, for the for the city of Sacramento. Are you even paid like by the city, or is it like freelance? Well, you know, say, uh, I used to work in the pound, right? And uh, yeah. I had they had to let me in go. New York. They had to let me. I'm um, originally from Queens. What I are would, you doing on South Broadway, <laughs> you know? So I would go and I would work at the fucking pound, right? With yeah. all these fucking pieces of garbage. <laughs> Sometimes, and I, I, you know, you, you gas dogs. You gas dogs yeah, all so, day. Yeah. I eat my tuna fish sandwich. Sometimes I got so much dog blood on my hands.
don't even I don't so even dogs know. Dogs are, are barely worth the amount of gas it takes to asphyxiate them. You know, if it was up to me, we'd just throw them in the fucking highway, you know? Oh, my God. Just, what, just let the bodies go where they may. If bags and river rocks didn't cost so much, you would just throw them in a, in a bag with river rocks and toss it in the river? Gino, I don't think <laughs> our, you know, we have a very, uh... You drown them, you electrocute them, me! <laughs> they, with you know, our fan base, they don't want to hear about killing animals. We're talking about a dog's purpose. Yeah. It's a family movie. Uh, the dog has this this awesome relationship, companionship with this man. Dennis Quaid. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis Quaid, this boy named Dennis Quaid. Uh, which, what I thought was interesting is the the character is named Dennis Quaid. Yeah, and the character age, it's supposed to be about his life. He ages through the movie. Yeah. But uh, it's so strange. Well, it's an artistic choice. Yeah. But Dennis Quaid plays that character through his life. So he plays him as an 8-year-old boy, <laughs> and he plays them as the 16-year-old boy. And then as a, like a 30-year-old and then like a 50-year-old. It kind of reminds me of some kind of French Odd. New Wave film. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's a great, looks like a great film. I'm going to go see it. I like animals. Um, Gino, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, you I guys. Just, you're going to look at that movie in a different pair of glasses than we are, I think. Yeah, well, you guys don't beat dogs' heads in all day, you know? I mean, That's you get kind of tired of it. You have... You have a cheeseburger yeah. every day. You don't want, you don't want a cheeseburger. Get a meatball sub day, Gino. Don't have, you guys acting like a half a... Had a Mets outfield stink. You acting like a, like a half a fag over here talking about a fucking dog, you know? Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <coughs> so, Craig. Um, Gino, uh, he's a little angry, but I think he... He kind of. I like, think he summed up uh, I think dog's he's, purpose. Yeah, I think he summed up, and I think he's a uh, he's an advocate. Of the yeah, movie, I think. he's a he real. Wants us to see it. He's a real animal lover. So we think you should see it too. Yeah, go out and uh, rush out and see it. Uh, yeah, dogs are okay, I guess. I don't know. It's a dog's fucking purpose to sniff a poison gas.